Celebrity true or false? You can't handle the truth. All right, here we go. Celebrity true or false with Ernie Hudson. Were you impressed by our production? I was very impressed. Okay, very yeah. I am impressed. Oh, thank I you so much. Say, yeah. I, pr- I appreciate that. Uh, true or false, earlier in your career, you were in episodes of Fantasy Island, The White Shadow, and Taxi. Yes. That triple That's, play is correct. That is correct. Okay. So who are you on the, let's, we're showing the white shadow up on the screen right here. Right. Who, who are you in the white shadow? Do you remember that? Well, all mm-hmm. those guys you saw in that photo, they, yeah. they uh, were on the series and they had a full-time job. Yes. I was a guy who kind of came in for the episode. Oh, no, you're and, all <laughs> guesting on these shows, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I was guessing on it. So I wasn't sure in that photo. I'm sure you welcoming the plane in Fantasy yeah, Island yeah. every single week. Curry. I think in uh, the white shadow, I, yes. I had a scene where I walked up to the, the uh, concession stand and ordered some popcorn. I think that's pretty much what that was I did. It? That was pretty much what I did on the White Shadow. I think. I mean, it might have been more than that. Okay, know. that's all I remember. I remember ordering popcorn. Um, okay, on the White Shadow. and the fa- and Fantasy Island. You Fantasy were- Island. Yeah, I played um, a voodoo priest who had this dance with a snake, <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, I was. Uh, I remember one of my best friends, who was a dancer. Yes. Uh, we our friendship broke up because he was he was insulted that they hired me, an actor, to do this dance. And oh my goodness! But um, yeah, but it was really <laughs> one of the highlights of my fifty plus years was working with Ricardo Montalban because uh, I got on the show and he came to my dressing room and welcomed me and. And just really, I sent him a, a thank you note after I, the only actor I've ever sent a thank you note to. Him. No kidding. So special. So wait a minute. You're saying Mr. Rourke himself welcomed you to Fantasy yeah, Island? Is that what you you're know, saying? Yeah, because I'm like, I'm just starting out. I'd stayed in my dressing room <laughs> and they had all these celebrities. And I was like, okay, I just. Um, <laughs> and he's like, he, says, he opened the door and says, welcome. Just like he's on the show, welcome to Fantasy Island. And he says, come. And he took me around and introduced me to everybody. And That's he, how you met Tattoo for the first time? Is uh, that a, yeah, I okay. think, uh, I don't think Tattoo was. was Quite in, as ingratiating, but um, <laughs> but Ricardo, he had lunch. He said he had lunch with me, and I thought, wow, man, this is uh, okay. And then I saw him a little before he passed away, and um, and he pretended that he remembered me. I'm not sure if he did. But he was so gracious about it. That is so it. nice, wonderful. Yeah. All right, second one uh, for you: true or false? Ernie Hudson, you had to move out of your Los Angeles apartment after Ghostbusters was released because too many fans of the film came to visit. True or false? That's true. Sadly, that's true. What happened? Well, you know, we I had this apartment, and it was right off of um, uh, Pico and Robertson, which is a you know pretty busy area. Yeah. But if you went to the um, the drugstore up on the corner or the gas station, they say, "Hey, you see that that movie Ghostbuster? You know, Ernie Hudson. Yeah, he lives right at. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and people would show up ten o'clock at night with their families. Oh my God, I can't believe it's you. They knock on the door, and I open the door, and they try to peek in and. You know, we just got here from Ohio, and we just, you know, you know, the first movie saw we saw, and come on, this is him, and and it happened a lot. So people, that, that space, and then I realized why people you know, buy behind gates because um, that that sense of uh, people feel a bit of it's okay to sort of. Show up at your house. At your door. Yeah. My you know? God. So, did you ever go to the person in the drugstore? Say, hey, how about not pointing uh, out yeah, where my spot is? Yeah, but I think. Is? Well, um, I might have, but you know, I tend to want to be nice about it. Like, you know okay. what? It's, it, maybe See, I don't need. People don't need to know where. They're, uh, they're so proud of you. Yeah, I'm so proud. I told everybody you're in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you get that script? How did that arrive in your world, Ernie Hudson? Well, I first heard about Ghostbusters. I was on, was on an elevator at Cedar Sinai Hospital visiting a friend, and Ivan Reitman just happened to get on the elevator. I did a movie the year before called Space Hunter mm-hmm. that Ivan produced, um, and I saw Ivan. He said hello. And he told me he was doing this movie Ghostbusters, which I hadn't heard of, and he had Billy and Danny in it. I didn't know who Billy and Danny was and then he said but there's nothing in it for you that's what he said <laughs> he said and i'm like okay well good luck with that <laughs> and then um then i hear there's a part that mm-hmm. they're looking for it's that you know it's a black character but i couldn't get an interview for three months everybody i knew had gone in for this part but i think the the role i did in space hunter was uh, it was Washington. He was bigger than light. Mm-hmm. And I think Ivan saw me as that guy, and it was not Winston. You know, Winston is not 
take over and right. allow them. You know. At any rate, um, eventually I got an audition. I went in and I killed it. You know, uh, actors out there will know when you just know when you just like, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I just want to throw the script down and say, uh, you know. But uh, they they like me, and uh, they had me come back in again to put me on tape. And I thought you had a camera in there. I thought I was on tape, but we go back. And I went in about six times. Wow. Um, over probably about two and a half months. So you fought for it. Yeah, they kept bringing me back. And um, it was almost like, we really don't want you, but <laughs> let's look at him again. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Uh, but it's, um, <laughs> yeah. So it took it took a long time. By the time I got the role in Ghostbusters, it was like, I couldn't even get excited about it. It's like, okay, they wore me out. But being a single dad, it was, it was a role I knew I had to, to get this role. I, I had to get life changing role. role, obviously, because you when you found out who Billy and Danny were. I found who Billy right? and Danny. Yeah. You identified the aforementioned Billy and Danny, <laughs> right. and and yeah. who, and who who they were at the time. I mean, were you? Uh, what was it like on the set? Uh, well, of, it was great. Yeah, no, the guy the guys were amazing. Uh, Bill Murray, I consider a good friend from day one. He's always been very right. Harold Ramis. I mean, they they're, they're great guys. It was um, we rehearsed for about. Four weeks, I guess, maybe about a month in New York. Um, they changed the scripts, which has always been a fans know been a point of uh, contention. contention for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I've since uh, made peace with that. Um, but um, yeah, the shoot in New York was really amazing. But it was it was a growing experience for me. It was really a, a learning, growing experience, and. Um, but it, yeah, it was it was a it was a fight, and even after the movie came out in that apartment, yes, um, they uh, would get me to do a lot of press for the movie. That be couldn't get the other guys to do it, but <laughs> but that was a real a real challenge because they'd send the Ghostbusters car to that apartment, which also brought Come on, attention. Man. No, they they send the car so like because like Peacon Roberts in the Ghostbusters cars yeah, walking down the street. Just, yeah, to take me to the Chinese theater in Hollywood. And oh uh, and the car would always break down. So we'd go and we'd do that and we'd sign up, we'd jump back in the car and it'd go 20 feet and it, it would stop. And I was standing out there. I'm in the Ghostbuster jumpsuit. Calling AAA? And they're calling, yeah, they're calling somebody. For a jump? <laughs> It was uh, oh it was a weird God. time. It was just uh, amazing. You know. So that we have a, uh, a celebrity true or false question about the movie. True or false? The jail scene in Ghostbusters was filmed in an actual prison, reported to be haunted, and the dailies came back with unexplained scratches. Is that true or false? I honestly, I have no idea. Oh. I I would say I, I can't even say false because I I don't know. I mean, I might have. Could been. have been ghosts, could have been not. Yeah. Do you believe um, in ghosts after all these years? Well, I believed in ghosts. Um, yeah, I've always believed in ghosts. Okay. You know, it would always makes me a little unsettled. But you're not afraid of no ghosts, right? Uh, well, I'm, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Okay. But, you know, I would have to Ghostbusters because <laughs> you get these weird things. Fans would invite me to, to come places to go. I got invited to come to Mississippi to do a ghost hunt at midnight. <laughs> Uh, and no, I'm not going. To, <laughs> I'm not going to Mississippi at not midnight maybe. with a bunch of people I don't know, <laughs> looking for ghosts at to night. find out I'm the ghost that's being haunted. <laughs> I know, but um, yeah, um, I, I get invited to a lot of haunted uh, okay. things that I know. 